Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome and make sure you subscribe. If you have been following me, thank you so much for being so supportive and I don't take it for granted. So make sure guys, you subscribe, like and comment. So today we're going to react to Michaela Ponte from uh, Italy. I think he's Italian, right? And this video looks to be very nice, very interesting. And I'm curious to see if he's going to eat, um, you know, the insects. They, I don't know what they look like. I don't know what that is exactly, but it looks appetizing from the color, the caramel color. But let's see <laughs> if he will eat um, the insects. Okay, so it's a Kenyan girl forced me to eat insects. So Kenya and Nairobi street food. So let me know in the comment section below where you're from. Do you eat insects in your country? And if if not, would you ever attempt eating them? Okay, let's talk in the comments below. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> let me tell you. Personally, I've eaten the grasshoppers. And also, I don't remember. I don't remember the name of the insect. It's an insect that j just comes out when it, during the rainy season, and they fly a lot. So I remember we used to catch them, and then you you just um uh, just cook them in butter, and they're very crunchy. So I've eaten them, but it's been a long time. So I need to try them again. But mm. so I don't know if I like or not like. I don't really remember. Um, how well they tasted, but yeah, it was just like one that little bit, li little tiny bite that you can have. So I need to try it again. This Kenyan girl is gonna force me to eat the insects. <laughs> yeah. Asante sana. They're called siswa. Siswa, and we are siswa. in Nairobi. Okay, so what is siswa? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm Kenyan, but I have no idea what is siswa. Let me know. Yeah, you can call her uh, Daisy or Mikala. Or Okanga. Okay. Well, what do you prefer? It's so complicated. Daisy, Daisy. We have the same name, Mikala and Mikala. Mikala, yeah. 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 If this video is going to get the 10 likes, I'm going to pay the food also for you. All right. <laughs> Only 10 likes? <laughs> so it's a sure bet for you. Okay, fine. That is the store. How do you pronounce it? Kenyeji. Kenyeji. Yeah, okay. Just okay. Do you come here often? Yeah, it's, it's where they made food from our, our homeland, oh. so yeah. Yeah, but uh, you practically live here. Yeah. Over that building, so. <laughs> okay. We are yeah. so lucky. Authentic traditional cooking <laughs> stuff. Okay. Yeah, so done. let me know which part of Nairobi is Kenyaji. Let me know. Okay. So guys, uh, I know nothing about this food. Uh, I know nothing about this menu, but yeah. you come from this tribe. Uh, yeah, the food is actually made from, like they're even named in, in the tribe. It's called Luya. Ah, Luya. Okay. So Luya is it's all about chicken. Ingoho. It's all about the, the chicken, samugali, and what? what else? What else? I don't know. Tribe. Luya tribe, yeah. Okay, which one do you suggest? I'd suggest this because Luyas are known for chicken. Okay. And then every meal is served with free ugali. Yeah. It's either brown or white ugali. Brown. Kenyans, please tell me. And I need to I need to call my parents, I need to call my brothers. So what's this thing about the brown ugali? Let me know where did this come from? You know, the last time I checked, we had the white ugali and we had the yellow ugali, you remember? There was a time in Kenya when we were child, we were children. There was famine, and there was you would only find the the, the yellow maize uh, that back in the days used to be just for the livestock. And then people loved it so much that even after the famine was over, then um, then we started making yellow ugali as well. So where is the brown ugali coming from, and how long have Kenyans been sorry eating the the brown ugali? Let me know in the comment section below, and I can't wait to, to taste the brown ugali. Okay, so we start with the quarter smoked uh, something chicken. No, no, read it, read it, read it. <laughs> Kenyanji? Kenyanji. Kenyanji chicken. Kenyanji chicken. Luya. Can, can, you, can you read this? Just read it. No, there it is. Eshango? Eshango? Eshango, yeah, Eshango. Eshango. So this is our favorite. Okay. You told me that you started this restaurant uh, six months ago. Wow. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, so you're going to interview the owner. 
Uh, can you explain me the idea of what's the process? Uh, how did you carry up with it? Actually, in 2014. 2014? Yes. Okay. Wow. It was just a small uh, business uh, working from home, mm -hmm. uh, making vegetables like this, like what I showed you. Okay. What's the set of veggie? Managu, terere. Okay, so some traditional. Um, you know, how do you say veggies, vegetables? Yeah, managu, terere. Okay. Yeah. And the packaging is so nice. Pip that. Wow, really nice. Veggie, managu, terere. So are they cooked or are they frozen? Kanzira. <laughs> terere is, um, uh, what is it, amara? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kanzira is Ethiopian kale. Mm -hmm. Managu is uh, African nightshade. Okay, okay. I started with a blend of just traditional vegetables mm -hmm. because most of them you have to go through a lot of processes to prepare them. Yes. So I came up with this idea whereby I can uh, be able to pluck them. You know, they are plucked mm -hmm. leaf by leaf, yes. cleaned mm -hmm. properly. Okay. And then after that, I remember the managu when we used to pluck them. My goodness, it's a lot of work because you have to. <clears throat> you have to pluck one by one, one by one like that. Oh my goodness. Uh, the cooking process also. Now you find our today's generation, majority of them don't understand how to make them. Right. So, Millennials. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> so it was a matter of like uh, introducing this, cutting down all those processes and right. having someone just to buy a pack of frozen okay. vegetables to oh, go okay. and finish off at home. Ah, that, that's, that's a good idea. So they're frozen, they're prepared, ready to cook. It's amazing, and I love that uh, all your brand is on every social media. Thank like, you. Uh, oh, nice. This is very important for today's yeah. uh, Thank you. world. Thank you. And uh, so you started selling veggies. Yes. And then you decided to make a restaurant. I used to make these vegetables, and then I prepare food. And then when I prepare food, I just do a small meal for myself and the family. Yes. And mostly it was just to educate my customers. Like when you buy this vegetable, mm -hmm. how do you finish it off at home? Okay. And the end product of the food, the meal on the table, how should it look? Yeah, and that's a great marketing strategy. It's a great strategy uh, to show people the end product. And I feel when you, for those who are working in the real estate, um, I feel that uh, the people should change how they sell uh, because if you if I go for example I'm looking for an apartment and I'm looking to maybe um, you know uh, buy one then I would rather go to an apartment which is neatly uh, the decoration is on top it's neatly uh, everything is well um, uh, positioned in the house and stuff like that and then so I can like have an idea of how my future apartment is going to be rather than going to an empty apartment and especially if you're not the kind of person and that's how I am that who doesn't really know how to picture the whole thing at a go then I feel it's very very interesting it's very important to to show the end product this is how um this is how you can you, this is how good you know your your different veggies will look. This is how good your apartment will look, and so on and so forth. So good job, madam. Very nice. Like, nice. So then people started liking. People right. started liking. People started asking me, make for me. Right. And then I realized that a lot of people were ordering for this. Mm -hmm. I was getting overwhelmed in the house, so it became too much for me. And the business just pushed me out of the house to get my location. That is when we started. That's beautiful. So you started this place. Oh, good job. Okay, so you started in your house, and then you had to look for a place. Good job. Because you had so many orders. Yes. That's mm -hmm. really amazing. And uh, is it a family business or uh, it's something? Uh, you did it by yourself and then hide the other people? I did it by myself. Yes. And right now I'm currently working with my son. My okay. first son. Oh. Yeah, so it's a family business. It's a family business. Good job. And nice questions, Michaele. Very nice. Okay. Yes, so we are running it together as a family business. That's really great. And yes. the location is next to Yala Center. Yeah, yes, it's yeah, yeah. very, very easy to spot. <laughs> yes. And uh, I have one more question. You came from a village or you were born in Nairobi or... What happened? What's your backstory? Okay, I've actually lived in different towns mm -hmm. up to a certain point when now my my parents settled back, my mother settled back to the village. Okay. So I took time 
with my grandmother, yes. whereby I now learned a lot about uh, mm -hmm. making these foods. Special food. Yes. yes. We yes. just yes. got some oh, special yeah. insects over here. Yeah. It's going to be a super romantic uh, lunch dinner mm. with, between me and Daisy and the owner. <laughs> can, can you repeat me your name? I'm sorry. <laughs> my name is Miriam. Okay. Miriam. Okay. Yes. okay. Look at this beauty. <laughs> well, fortunately, they are not moving. If they were moving, maybe it would be another country. <laughs> yes. Siswa. Siswa. People normally eat insects in Kenya? We have specific insects. Oh, really? Because, like, for our cuisine, it is Western Kenya cuisine. Okay, from Western Luya. Kenya. Luya, it's also your, your tribe. Yes, I am Luya. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, she's uh, Luya too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And is it a specific thing that only Luya people do? The Ugandans mm -hmm. also eat this insect. Okay. Mm. Even uh, people from Nyanza province, they also eat that. Okay, okay, yes. okay. I'm going to leave the insects as dessert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to use it as appetizer. We're going to start with uh, the, I think we ordered chicken. Mm. We did order oh. mushrooms. Oh, that chicken looks nice. Start with uh, the. I think we ordered chicken. Oh my goodness! Look at how not. Oh my goodness! Kukuchoma is bay. We did order cow mushrooms leg? and cow leg. Mm. So we ordered half of the menu. Okay. <laughs> then we see what, what fits better my stomach. I'm ready for everything. Yeah, you had right. They said cow legs. Okay, so it's not my favorite, but I feel they're very soft. You know when they're cooked. Um correctly it's very soft and the cartilage is very nice to chew it and so yeah why not it's not my favorite but yeah i can eat it but it's not what i prefer i've been traveling around the world in over 40 countries so wow, it's not wow. the first time i ate insects oh i ate them in oh. thailand but they were big <laughs> at least those they are small they look uh -huh, crunchy uh -huh. but they are small uh -huh. <laughs> So Thank you. We have Daisy telling me the most interesting things out of the video. Why do we have this uh, hole? It looks like a lantern. <laughs> I guess it's, I think it's uh, mostly used for just to, um, how do you say, to keep the insects away. That's how I would explain it. So, yeah, I think that's it. Smart, yeah? <laughs> yes. It's like a lantern, but yes. it's used to, to keep away insects right. from coming oh, to the I don't want you to stay away from me, so if you come back to this side of the table, okay. we okay. both become part of the lighting uh, that God has given us today. Can I start? You can start. Okay, we have the inspection. How is it? Mm. Protein. Protein. Mm -hmm. I like it. That's my food. It's dessert for me. So guys, I'm going to wait until the end of the video to eat. No, no, no. Just <laughs> I'm gonna have a bite okay, now, but yeah. I'm gonna show it at the end of the video. Yeah, like but I'm here for it. I have to watch it until the end. Okay. <laughs> oh, we have a real food. Mushrooms. Okay. Oh, oh, oh we have a real food. Oh, wow, it looks so nice. Is it fish? No? Mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms. Okay. Brown oh, it looks like a cake. It looks like it's chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Then white to okay. and, and, and the chicken. chicken. Yeah. We got also the cow leg. Cow leg. Oh, super oh yeah, did you see the cow leg? Cow leg. Cow leg. Yeah, look at that. Mm, it looks nice. It looks nice. Wow. Oh, super fun. The important thing over here is always that you eat with hands in yeah, Kenya. We have to eat hands. We got the antibacterial. Yeah. yeah, that's very important. And like I've said it over and over again, Africans did not wait for Corona to start washing their hands before each and every meal. Because why? Probably because we eat, we often eat with our hands. Most of the times, our foods are, you know, eaten with the hands. They're more delicious when you eat them, you know, with your hands. But yeah, we always, 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 always wash our hands before every single meal. You promote Kenya. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, it's uh, her birthday week, so she's getting free lunch, free insects for the birthday. I'm so kind. <laughs> this is the traditional plate, guys. She makes stories every day, the whole time. She becomes cover shy on YouTube. You're the queen of Instagram. Okay, they, they look awesome. I think it's the best part of the plate, the mushrooms. Okay, let's see. Yeah, go for the mushrooms. Very serious. 
the mushroom must be amazing. What other person? Yeah, the mushrooms are prepared uh, because I know Europeans like the mushrooms not too cooked. Um, and so these ones look to have been very nicely cooked, but probably very well spiced up. So it looks so nice. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry right now. And don't forget to tell me how good the, the brown ugali is. Please, 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 let me know how the brown ugali is. Me, you do a huge mess. You're not able to grab anything, actually. So mm. good, but so complicated to eat. <laughs> the mushrooms are amazing. The good thing about the cow leg is that I'm able to actually grab it. This fat goes to your brain, and your brain makes better connections. <laughs> right, but that's very true. Most people, I remember telling that to uh, like, yeah, right. I'm like, yeah, it's true. It's just like the fish. It's full of, you know, very nice minerals for the brain in the same way the cow legs. Honestly, it's he's serious about this one. And I'm serious. Right. You know, people think I'm joking. Right. It reminds me of the meal uh, in... Uh, the Egyptian video where we were the worst customers in the restaurant. So we don't normally make dirty jokes. We are good people. You yes. make dirty jokes. I do. She said you have to put it in your mouth. Yeah. I have no idea what she means. <laughs> Which part of the chicken do you like the most? I'll, I'll take the one you don't like. No, in our tribe. Yeah. Mm. They say the chicken drumstick. Okay. It's for men. I'm very happy that it's for men. Because it's that's men. what you like? Yes. <laughs> She's right. I like this uh, sexy, sexy steak. Oh, it looks so good. I'm hungry right now. I'm just salivating. <laughs> mm. You're gonna get cancelled here in this video. <laughs> you need a Put it next to the ugali. No. Put it next to my ugali. No. The lady got a plate for the box. Oh, okay. She didn't want to mess yeah. up. With I think it's I oh I do the same as well. I I can't stand to have like a bone, uh, in my plate and I haven't finished eating. So I prefer having like a plate on the side and I can just put my the bones inside. The ugali, but I think the chicken is the best part. Mm. The man part is the best part. <laughs> Good. Right. satisfaction. Do you want one mm. side? Or the men part? Do you want to become a man? No, no, no. <laughs> I will do something that probably is for, forbidden. Wow. I will do mushroom and chicken together. Mm. Mushroom and chicken, they fit the best. I'm just getting mad that I use this spoon so I'm getting my hands dirty and nobody's gonna film this video. How do we do that? Here. Mm. Okay. Mm, incredible. It's really, really good. Sante. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I mix everything if you come here. Mushroom, veggies, and uh, brown garlic. It's a must. In the meantime, we got the sugar cane. I must go to this restaurant when I come home. I have to go. So it's not far from Yaya Center and it's called Kienyeji. So make sure you go there as well and support. Um, you know, and support local businesses and let me know in the comment section below um, how good the food is. I will have to go there and taste it myself. Also made over here. What did you get? Pineapple mint and ginger. Pineapple mint with ginger. Also my sugar cane is a mix between the mint, ginger and sugar. Mine is better. Trust me, mine is better. <laughs> so she said they eat the sugar cane as a snack and they also eat insects as a snack. Oh, this is the yeah. last thing left to try. <laughs> sugar cane, mint and ginger. Yeah. Pure abduction. Yeah, and sometimes they put lemon instead of um, of mint. You can have sugar, uh, you can have lemon, which is very nice for your health. And if it's natural, then it's all good. 100% addiction. This thing is better than yours. Are you sure? Mine is the You'll never try it. Daisy put me in a challenge. Should I drink this bloody thing or this uh, color? Uh, it's too much fat in the cow legs. I would rather have the, the bloody thing, the sauce, the what do you call it? The the mushroom uh, gravy. I would prefer the mushroom soup. Good thing. And I decided to go for the bloody one. Right. And this is a very good soup. 
Yeah. You're missing out. Yay! <laughs> I already have coffee on my thing. If so we put some tomato, <laughs> looks great. This in Italy is called the scarpetta. It's when you grab with the shoe whatever is under. Yeah. Yeah. The French do the same thing with the um uh, you know the French bread. Uh, uh, baguette, it's called baguette, and then you just like remove all the sauce in your plate and you make it clean. Look at this bone. You just put a nail here, <laughs> and you open and close the door of the house. We finished almost everything. They left just the insects. And now that Daisy went to wash her hands, mm. we can actually use the spoon for a three minutes uh, round <laughs> and try to finish this thing as quickly as possible. <laughs> She's looking at me pretty mad. <laughs> She's not watching. <laughs> All good, guys. So we are at the final part of this video, and uh, she loves them so much. It's my shift. It's my turn. We need to try this. Mm. I'm gonna spoil the entire dinner. You know that? <laughs> I don't smell. It's illegal. <laughs> if I were you, Mikhail, I would have eaten those in the beginning and not at the end. I feel, or in the middle somewhere, you know, because so you can finish with a good taste, like you can finish your chicken or something. Because if you don't like them, you'll have like a bad taste in your mouth, but it's just me. In your tripe, it's illegal to smell. It's not the first tripe I wear. I encountered this problem. Do you smell alcohol? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I, I always like smell alcohol before I, I drink it. I don't know. Yeah, you smell alcohol, uh, but I, I get your point. I get your point. Um, you know, because we, you know, when you grow in a country where you've always eaten one thing, you don't really care about the smell or anything. You just go for it because you're used to it. But if you're not, it's different, you know? The more I look at them, the more I see the details. You can see the legs. <laughs> you can see so many things moving. Don't overthink it. Just put it in your mouth, chew it, and let's go. <laughs> stop. Just stop. Yeah. <laughs> stop the like my mother. Can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. Mm, mm. Uh, mm. By the look on his face, did you see how his face? <laughs> he doesn't like it. He doesn't. Mm, mm. <laughs> look at his face like oh. <laughs> Mm, I prefer to eat other proteins, okay. but it's really thankfully good. it's special cane no, I had in this country. If you to compare it to normal food, what do you compare it to? I compare it uh, to, to insects. In insects. And... Yeah, they, they were <laughs> bad. I had uh, to eat them for a bad. It is like... Um, <laughs> what? Uh, Oreo. Oreo? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I get maybe the... The, the 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 how do you say the sandy part of Oreo because it's crunchy yeah you're right mm. it tastes like Oreo it tastes like Oreo mm. <laughs> Oreo with salt maybe I still have some legs between my teeth <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the only problem you remain with legs and uh, anyway sugar cane is my favorite she's so disappointed can I go? <laughs> you can go. <laughs> I am ashamed for your tribe, I know. <laughs> She's full. So full. She got some insects to bring it home. My snack Congratulations. <laughs> As a snack. If you want to have a date with her, you need to eat insects. Yeah, it has to be insects. <laughs> My gosh. I've heard that, guys. I've heard all the jokes. Thank you so much for bringing me here. Happy birthday again. Wish her a happy birthday in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Keep reading and believe your dreams. Ciao. Yeah, guys, thank you so, so, so much uh, for watching as well. I love this reaction. I have to go to this joint. It's a Kenyeji. It's next to Yaya Center. I must go there because that food would look so appetizing. And I think I will also make a point of tasting the insects as well because I think they must be so good. I don't really remember how good it was, but yeah. So, guys, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this reaction video. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and thank you so much for all the love and all the support. And don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Until next time, bye.